Hi, and welcome to Create, Automate, and Scale Podcast. Tune in to this inspirational, straight-to-the-point, relatable content for entrepreneurs to help you mastermind the everyday hassle, give you business tips, networking opportunities, shameless money talks, and scaling secrets. Created to support you, to support coaches and course creators just like you, to help you take action, stop trading dollars for hours, and explode your business. It's time to hit that six figure and beyond. Let's go! Hey, hey, so happy you are here! Hi, I'm Sophie Riley, and I'm your host. In this episode, We are talking traffic, how to actually build an audience, an email list, and bring visibility on you and your business. Well, isn't that the number one question every business owner and entrepreneurs have on their mind? Now, before we jump in, I want you to know and understand that if you don't have a target market, a solution or product, and a sales system... I don't care if you have an audience of zero or one million, you don't have a business, you have a hobby. So if you are not clear on that just yet, I have created an epic series right here on this podcast and we'll link all the episodes in the show notes. Let's dive into this juicy details because if you're anything like me, you just want to get down and dirty and start learning. Today, I'm going to break down how you can grow your audience depending on where you are on your entrepreneur's journey. To start, you need to have a seriously epic offer for your ideal client in exchange for their name and email address. If it's not something they want, something they need, or something that will make them want and need what you have to offer, well, that lead magnet, which is a term used for the super special thing you are going to offer your audience, is completely useless. You need to be able to stand out and get your ideal client seriously excited about what's about to hit their inbox. I need you to think, what can I give them that will not only make them want more, but will make them so excited they're going to be doing a little happy dance of excitement. So right now, I need you to look back at what you are offering right now and ask yourself, is it epic or is it basic? If it's basic or you just don't have one yet, I want you to start a brain dump of ideas and ask your ideal client what they'd be interested in. Now, how can you show your future clients that they need your offer. You have This has to be in the back of your mind this entire time. It can't be just a random freebie. How will it make them want more from you? How can you show your clients that one, they have a problem. This is called your cold market. Two, that you have a solution for their problem. This is called your warm market. And three, that they need your offer. This is called your hot market. Once your lead magnet is all set, you can probably start with the obvious and start promoting on social media. Amazing. The first thing that you can do is use social media to advertise your lead magnet, add it to the link in your bio, promote it in posts, reels, TikTok, lives. Offer it in a non-creepy way to your DMs, to your followers, new followers, and people you know would be interested. This is what most of you were most likely doing. So what you might be thinking is that, "Mm, it's not growing my list fast enough. I couldn't agree more. So let's dive into some epic ways you can consistently start to grow your audience today. First, you need an evergreen content system. What I mean by that is that you need to start putting content out there that's not going to die after a few hours or a few days. This means you can either start a YouTube channel, a podcast, or a blog, 
and start posting into those platform a weekly unique to you in searchable content because all of these platforms can be used with SEO. What I mean by that super basic way to think about it is can you Google it? So every time that you publish that new epic content, you always add your lead magnets, your offers in the show notes of a podcast that pop up on your website or under your, your YouTube video. This is a key system to build into your business, to grow your email list consistently, and you get to repurpose that unique to you content all over social media. The consistency and the compound effect of this strategy is epic. You can even use your amplifiers to promote your evergreen content so that's social media and Pinterest. I highly recommend batching at least one month of weekly content and scheduling it, having an organized system for that content as well as being consistent before adding any other strategies to build your list. If you are overwhelmed with one strategy, Adding a second and a third one, is it going to fix your problem? If anything, it's going to make you more overwhelmed. Now, that would be my advice if you are beginning. I will also tell you to add collaborations to your calendar, where once in a while you interview someone on your platform or social media. But if you want to take it up a notch, you need to add bigger collaboration events. This is where you invite other entrepreneurs coaches, course creators, and collaborate on an event. You can have events with five collaborators or 50. Honestly, it's really up to you. This can bring big amounts of new people on your list all at once. This is actually a key part of my launches. In some events, I've got a few hundred future customers on my list and others have grown by a few thousands. These are more time consuming and requires a lot of tech, but an epic strategy to add to your business. Now, the last one I want to talk about is ads. This is the last strategy that you can use to build your email list. This is where you pay a platform to promote that lead magnet to build your list. I don't personally recommend you use ads unless you're making at least 5,000 a month in your business. Honestly, you can probably talk about this all day, but if you are not bringing consistent income into your business, it could be because you haven't completely nailed down that target market, that problem that you solve, and most importantly, it is most likely because your sales system is still a bit lacking or <laughs> awkward. <laughs> But ad can be an amazing thing to add to your business later on when you're ready to scale. As well, I highly recommend that when you dive into those ads, you hire someone or take a quick course on how to do it properly. It will save you. It will literally save you thousands of dollars. Now, one of the questions might be, how do I start a podcast? How do I start a blog? How do I start a YouTube? How do I even start in thinking on those collaboration events? And I just want to say, I get it. I see you. I hear you. And I'll be dropping a whole lot more content as well as some done for you courses very, very shortly. So be on the lookout. If you love what you're hearing here on this podcast, make sure you follow Create, Automate, and Scale on your favorite listening platform and leave me a review. I'd love to hear your thoughts and questions. Be sure to tune in next week as I start to dive in into summer automation. How can you save hours, a lot of hours, each day of your summer and still make money, still build your email list. So we're gonna dive in into a lot of automation that you need to put into place right now. Make sure you check the show notes for some special gifts to help you create, automate, and scale. See you next week, same place, same time.